Hi, and welcome to Visibility Unlimited and Visibility Unlimited Spotlight, the video portion of Visibility Unlimited, the podcast. I'm Leslie Short, your host and the owner of the Carver Group. Today's guest, Queen Sheba, is an unusual, talented individual that has been able to mix in social impact along with her business. And I'm excited to mix a little bit of the social impact interview in with our normal interviews. So welcome, Queen Sheba. I am Queen Sheba. I'm a resident of Atlanta, Georgia. I am a resident of Raleigh, North Carolina. I am from Kalamazoo, Michigan. I am adopted uh, by an all white family in 1977. I am biracial. I am a mother. I am a grandmother. I am a dog mom. I am a partner in a same sex relationship. I am a writer. I'm a journalist. I am um, a performer. I'm a DJ. I'm a professor at two universities right now. Um, I am an author. I am a recording artist. The Grammys are music. That's the highest award you, that you can get in music. So the Grammys are specifically for music. So yes, you have to have an album. And no, I decided to do it myself. I actually, um, this is my fourth time submitting myself for a Grammy. This is the second year we've had our own specific spoken word and poetry category. They call it spoken word poetry category. And um, mm -hmm. I submitted myself twice prior to this under books on tape. So I didn't really have a book on tape, but I had submitted my poetry album because that was the only category that we had. So yeah, so this is my fourth time doing it. And I, you know, I've gotten to know the Atlanta um, Recording Academy chapter over the last few years. And of course, like I said, I'm well-traveled. So I've been able to talk to people and poets and other um, voting members about the importance of the spoken word category. And I was really blessed that enough people voted for me to be um, one of the top five out of 55 submissions this year. Last year, there were 85 submissions. And then the Recording Academy told us that we needed to maintain 100. So we're doing a lot of outreach. Um, I'm doing a lot of outreach to poets saying, hey, you know, it's important that if you think that you're ready for the next level and you've been putting together these albums for years anyway, why not go ahead and submit to the record to the Grammys for through the Recording Academy? We're honored that the Recording Academy decided to come to us in 2020. We had two Zoom calls and they said, hey, what do you need to have your own category? It looks like some of you are really interested and you keep submitting under books on tape and we realize that's not really your category. And we said, hey, those people aren't spoken word artists. Barack Obama, love him to death. He's not a spoken word artist. Madonna, love her to death. She's not a spoken word artist. Same with Michelle Obama, et cetera. These people have books and of course, you know, they're going to win the category, right? <laughs> right. Because, you know, you know, they have millions of supporters, but we wanted our category to say, hey, we are spoken word artists. We're the ones that are out here um, on the scene, traveling the world, doing performances, doing workshops, doing writing workshops, teaching young poets how to be spoken word artists, how to how to publish books and how to record albums. And we're saying, hey, we need our own category, just like singers and hip hop artists have their own category and country music and soul and et cetera, et cetera. And they said, OK, well, if you guys can. Um, make sure that 100 people, 100 poets submit every year. You guys can have your own category. And we took on that challenge and this is our second year. So um, the reason that is impactfully socially is because for so long, I mean, I've been doing spoken word as a, my full-time job for 23 years. And wow. it, yeah, so as long as I can remember, we've been talking about, hey, what does it look like for us to get you know, the recognition we deserve. And we don't didn't really know what that meant. But when the Recording Academy came along, we're like, this is it. This is what we're talking about. Queen Shiva, do you mind sharing a bit of your spoken word with us? I'm sure all our listeners and those that are watching will love to hear just a taste of that. The Grammys were able to hear and why you were nominated. Little brown girls, little brown girls trace circles in gray misty mirrors to cover the image that flinches because their vision is conditioned by the system. Painting red lips under green eyes so when the first guy pays her a little attention, she pays him 
a little sex, not realizing we're taking away the way we're living if we allow outside influences to persuade decisions made on our physical condition, flipping through the latest issue, looking for an image to transition into because someone that lacked confidence in their individualism told her eccentric wasn't beautiful. Elderly brown sisters trace circles in gray misty mirrors covering their grays with dyes using creams and lotion to try to smooth out lines, erasing traces of wisdom, pitching, tucking, and lifting parts that have hung low with the experience because no one told them their hip now widened to make resting places for children listening to stories of the Angola Three on the middle of the summer in the port swing. No one told them the real gift is losing physical sight to protect your souls from witnessing the tragedies women fighting for liberation will suffer in this light. Tonight, we realize the search for physical beauty comes from how comfortable we fit in our self-esteem and the only genes we need have been passed down in our bloodstreams. The only paint we need on our face are the tribal stripes of warrior women and the intricate details of a mask painted for a wedding. Tonight, women of all shades will trace circles in gray misty mirrors, comfortable with being natural because I was told we have nothing to make up for. Everyone, thank you so much for joining us today. Queen Sheba, thank you very much for joining us. I hope everyone enjoyed learning a bit more about spoken word and how it's part of social impact and to the world at large and how it can change um, and reflect communities, people, places, and things. Um, I'm Leslie Short, your host owner of The Cover Group. Continue to follow us on social media at The Cover Group. And as always, I say thank you. Bye now.